first let's do the question so so we will go through the question so that we will understand how question is asked and what you need to be what you need to answer how you need to approach the question you can see four month old girl age is very important four month old girl of ashkenazi jewish origin so jewish ashkenazi jewish origin this is also very important that is why i have changed the color so this end is brought to hospital following a caesar okay caesar it is important because neuro nervous tissue caesar is because of nervous tissue involvement so this represents her parents deny any previous previous seizures or a family history of seizer no family history of seizer she does not have seizure she deny any recent illness or, or fever fever is also they say that prior to seizure she had appeared to be more weak and lethargic it is also related to nervous tissue it can be related to nervous system weak and lethargy happens because of other problem but it can be related to nervous tissue also she had not yet started to lift her head so this is deficiency of milestone because by 5 4 month baby start to lift head and roll so and laugh smile the baby starts smiling and laughing by 4 months so milestone development is a problem again nervous tissue because of brain is not growing properly so on examination growth is also compromised 30% of length 40% of weight and 90 head circumference is good compared to this heads this is called macrocephaly so if height is small the head should not be large this is macrocephaly okay compared to the height and weight the head is large 99% is large this macrocephaly she moves weakly and has a soft cry cannot cry very hard so her reflexes are brisk brisk reflexes this is also important here cherry red red spot are is there no hepatosplenomegaly so this is the one thing that separates from upcoming disorder that is neman pick disease so we have seen this type of problem we have seen what is there loss of milestone developmental disorder okay these are all inborn error of metabolism okay all inborn error of metabolism there are few common characteristics you can see i have told you these are inborn error of metabolism lysosomal storage disease so these are all inborn error of metabolism inborn error of metabolism will have brain growth problem body growth problem and organ failure body organ failure so these are common to this so you can see brain growth problem here body growth problem here in comparison to body head is macrocephalic if you compare with the body head is large so brain body has problem reflex peripheral nervous system is also involved reflex is exaggerated reflex is there and then no hepatosplenomegaly and cherry red spot is there and this is a very diagnostic of disorder tay sachs disease these two are very diagnostic of tay sachs disease hepatosplenomegaly and cherry red spot no hepatosplenomegaly plus cherry red spot is what is called tay sachs disease you can see what is the possible diagnosis tay sachs disease so what is the enzyme that is deficient here can anybody tell me hexosaminidase a oh, very good hexosaminidase so what is deposited in neuronal cell gm two ganglia sac yeah gm2 so these are the answers so you can see these are present in skinavis chewis so they, this it is this this type of actually descent people are present in uh, people of this descent are present in quebec region of canada and this is present in in the present day turkey so this is khazar actually uh, khazaria is actually turkey it is uh, pre previously it, there, there was this in 7th century this used to be country and used to live this people so this the people live here previously people used 
used to live here and that is why some people you will see in uh, residing in the in this region middle east region you can you can find the patient from middle east region or kobek region having this test sacs disease so this is the presentation you can see infantile the case we discussed is infantile form most of the most commonly asked is infantile form here you can see very important finding i will say. so you have seen cherry red spot here so this is one important finding we have seen macrocephaly relative macrocephaly okay macrocephaly we have seen relative macrocephaly here now we have seen seizure also okay so these are the presentation and then startle exaggerated startle response it is a ref, related reflex when you uh, tell baby if if you like uh, this is a test startle response is a test when you it is a reflex test of the baby startle reflex test so if you actually call the baby so baby will actually move his hand like this and then cry can cry also like this you can see that this is a startle reflex so this is very much exaggerated so you can see this exaggerated here exaggerated reflex is very high so you can see high reflex is there hepatosplenomegaly is not there okay in this patient and hepatosplenomegaly is not present here so cherry red spot no hepatomegaly very important finding startle response responses is very high macro relative macrocephaly so these are the presentation progressive visual loss so these are the presentation of infantile form of tsacs disease and why did i tell you this remember this thin people so you can correlate this with thin people with this thin people with this no hepatosplenomegaly so because thin people does not have hepatosplenomegaly so you can see this eye is there i have made it bright so you can cherry red spot with no hepatosplenomegaly you can remember so thin lanky drunken gait this person has so you can remember that is how you can remember cerebral ataxia in juvenile and adult form okay juvenile and adult form has cerebral ataxia why do we get do you get juvenile form based on enzyme deficiency if enzyme deficiency is severe so the disease will appear in infantile form if enzyme deficiency is relatively low low deficient enzyme so enzyme activity activity is high in comparison to this but mild deficiency you can call it mild deficiency if mild deficiency is there so you will see the tissue presentation in adult if moderate deficiency is there you will see the disease presentation in juvenile form between age 1.5 to 5 so generally a question come from infantile form but you have to understand this also okay this also cerebral ataxia in both form you will see cerebral ataxia in both form and progressive weakness decreased cognitive visual loss seizures and this will be the main question just remember at least this this also cerebral ataxia for those both because of because this gangliocide is present in brain that is why cerebral ataxia okay so this is onion peel appearance so this nerve tissue if you see the if if nerve tissue cell is examined by electron trans uh, this micro microscope you can see this the patient can you find this onion peel appearances that is actually these are inclusion body so thin means thin slices of this onion slices onion layers thin layers of onion like thin and then thin means no hepatosplenomegaly these are very unique to this tay sachs disease so you can correlate what does hexoja mean it does do this will break this bond here so this bond is already broken by some enzyme that is called alpha galactosidase it will be broken no problem it, this enzyme is not deficient in this patient so this will be deficient as a result this gm2 gangliocide will accumulate gm2 gangliocyte will accumulate in this body so you can remember drunken thin lanky red eyed gangster had six six means hexosaminidase you can remember six people in in gangs so this is how you can remember anyway if you correlate funny correlation help a lot this is acetal and acetal glucosaminidase is present in the second carbon that is what i have shown here so this and this is gm2 gangliocyte so tay sachs disease remember tay sachs disease 
Remember this feature, no hepatosplenomegaly, but cherry red spot and macrocephaly startle response. Four features, four features, okay? Four features of the baby. This exaggerated reflex, red spot, cherry red macula here, and then macrocephaly, no hepatosplenomegaly. These are the presentation. So,